the reason that the National Trust has named the childhood home a national treasure is because Nina Simone's life transcended the constraints society placed on black female performers in the mid 20th century to become the voice of the American civil rights movement. From refusing to perform if audiences weren't attentive, to fusing classical piano with African rhythms, to her frank expressions of racial and gender discrimination through her songs like Mississippi Goddamn and Four Women. Nina Simone's life and career embody an unapologetic pursuit of musical, personal, and political freedom. Nina Simone's career has spanned more than four decades, musical genres, several continents, and earned 15 Grammy nominations. Her songs have been professionally sampled and covered nearly 500 times. Nina Simone's distinctive sound and social critique was unlike anything that had been heard before. She made an indelible mark on the world of music and civil rights activism that still reverberates today. Exactly. Nina Simone's Child at Home provides an important lens for examining the contours of her life and the long overlooked story of African American struggle and achievement in the Jim Crow South. I just want to share a statistic that really brings this issue to life. Less than 2% of our national parks, monuments, and historic sites are dedicated to women's history, while less than 6% focus on African American history. Today, Nina Simone's 660 square foot childhood home is vacant and need of repair and lacking any interpretation and preservation protections. We as a society need to do more to uplift the stories of African American achievement to tell the full history of our nation. Preserving and activating places like the Nina Simone Childhood Home will bring those stories to life. That's why I'm delighted to also share that the National Trust, we created a new initiative called the African American Cultural Heritage Action Fund last year in the wake of Charlottesville and Charleston to tell the full American history. The Nina Simone Childhood Home is the first national treasure music site that is supported through the Action Fund. This campaign means that the National Trust is committed to raising $25 million over the next five years to support the preservation of African American historic spaces and to uplift the stories related to the African American stories of achievement, community, and activism. And then I just want to share briefly the work. The restoration and reuse of Nina Simone's childhood home will demonstrate how art and preservation practice can combine to honor her remarkable legacy, secure the home's future, and inspire new generation of activists, creators, and preservationists to preserve the places important in American history and the embodied culture these places keep.